Hey guys. Hey guys. We're the Dorkeries. You know what I've been noticing lately? Some people have a hard time saying that word. Dorkeries? Yeah. Dorkeries. Maybe it's confusing. Dorkeries. Yeah, we're not changing it though. We're the Dorkeries. We're the Dorkeries. We like to... Dork. We like to dork out. Today we're going to do something different that we've never done before, Lady Dorkery. It is a Funko Pop Haul! Have we not ever? I mean, we've showed a few, I guess, and yeah. then we've done an unboxing of right. like... A okay. mystery box. So we're going to do a Funko Pop Haul. Why? I don't know, because I got an amazing... Because we, we're dorks and we collect pops. Okay, let's just be... So let's, let's start there. Let's go to the very beginning. The very first Funko Pops that we ever got was 2012. I actually have them here. 2012 San Diego Comic-Con. We walked into the Funko booth. Walked into the Funko booth. They were like begging us to come in at the time. They were like, yeah, anybody want to buy pops? It was definitely a different culture. Anybody want to buy pops? And they were like, what are these pops about? So we walked in and they had, they had like the uh, Darth Maul holographic pop. They had the tin or not the six inch uh, Monsters uh, Inc. pop. Like pops that are worth thousands of dollars. I'm like nah. So uh, we were there with our little kids though, right? So they they wanted they so loved, in 2012. Yeah. So he would have been what four, five, five. Okay. So so he was like, Dad, I love the Muppets. So we got the. Manamana. Do 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 do. Manamana. Do 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 do. Manamana. So that was our first Funko Pop. We don't even have the box anymore. We kept the box for a really long time, and yeah. then we're like, we're never gonna need this. Yeah, we're like boxes. Nobody collects the boxes. They want the pops that are <laughs> inside, so we threw it away. These are so cute. Uh, so, <laughs> so that was our very first pop, and Lady Dorkery put in this rule. You remember what the rule was? How yes. many pops we could have per person? You can have three pops per person three pops. in this house. In this and house. if you would like another pop, then you have to trade for right. a pop that you already have. Three, three pops per person. <laughs> Lady Dorkery, do you know how many pops that we have uh, in this house now, approximately? 600? Yeah, 600 pops in this house. Which means there are a lot more people living here than <laughs> there, I'm aware of. There are 200 people <laughs> living in this house right now with your new rule. Mm. So I don't think you guys really yeah. stuck to my rule. No, we didn't. But that's okay. because I have 20 pops. We dork out now. Me. So. I only have 20. Yeah. I'm only breaking the rule yeah. a little bit. Is that really your number? I only have 20. Okay. So yeah. the rest of us, I think I've got 250 Peyton's got around 200. Anyways, the point is we're dorks and we dork out about a lot of stuff. And most of the time on YouTube, we only talk about comics. Yeah. Um, but we dork out about a lot of stuff that yeah. we'd like to share with our community and our friends. Yeah. So let's so, get started. So we went to the honey. <laughs> so let's get started. So we. <laughs> One of the best uh, YouTube channels. We love Top Pops. He's uh, he's a great uh, Funko Pop channel. We're so let's get started. We're just teasing. We're not trying so, uh, to make no, fun we love or Top copy Pops. anyone. Yeah, because he's amazing. He's got a bunch of subs. So what do we have today? So we're going to start off with this guy right here. This is Marvin the Martian. We bought this at the Honey Hole. You know who Marvin the Martian is, Lady Dorker? I do know who Marvin the Martian uh, is. Marvin was the Martian. a big deal when I was a kid. Was a big deal when I was a teenager. But if I'm honest... Um, I think of one thing when I think of Marvin the Martian. Yes. Clueless. Well, okay. And I think of Brittany, who okay. has passed away, and Aww, Brecken. Brittany Murphy. And Brecken, who I love and met this summer. Yeah. Aw, that was yeah. good times. So, mm -hmm. found that. I had a honey hole. Pops are like 10 bucks. That's a vault of pop. Worth a, lot, worth a lot more than 10 bucks. So, that was a good sign. This was also ten bucks, uh, Lady Dorkery. Uh, this family loves Gravity Falls. This is a vaulted pop. Uh, this is Grunkle Stan. When when did you get these this week? Uh, yesterday. Oh, okay. Yeah. So that was uh, that was a great find because we're getting close to finishing our Gravity Falls collection. Uh, so that's that. Who is your Who is your favorite character from Guardians of the Galaxy, Lady Dorkery? Besides Pratt Pratt Pratt. My favorite character. Yeah, don't look down at the pop. Like, if I were to move this slow, you wouldn't be able to Drax? see me anymore. <laughs> That's right. So, also, I hate guessing games because no, I'm really no. bad at them. No, you're, you're good. I'm sorry. I put you in that type of pressure. So we found Drax. 
Uh, this is also vaulted pop. That was uh, nine bucks, so that was a a good find, a good find. What do you think about that? So let's get to a uh, hot topic. Uh, so there was, do you know what Monday was? Monday was, there I go with the guessing game again. Um, Monday, Monday was the 21st. Right, so <laughs> the 21st is also called Back to the Future Day because oh. that's the year that one of the dates that <laughs> Pepper Potts, our cat, is going nuts right now. I have no um, idea what's going on. It's okay. So check this bad boy out. I was super happy to get this on Back to the Future Day. This is from Back to the Future 3, a Hot Topic exclusive. That's Clint Eastwood right there, ladies and gentlemen. Marty, Marty McFly. McFly. One of Mr. the Clint best. Eastwood. One of the best movies of all time. I love Back to the Future. That's from Back to the Future Part 3. Back to the Future is your favorite movie of all time. Why do you not of have a time. Back to the Future tattoo? Uh, hmm. Maybe we'll work on that. Uh, so Frank, Did you know that this was coming open? That's okay. He's going to come out of the box, but it's not like damaged or anything. I didn't know that these had... Had what? Labels right here on the inside. Oh, yeah. I didn't know that. Yeah, the office pops at the top when you open them up. The lids have a quote I'm from sorry. that office Just person. to, you probably can't see it because it's really small, but that's what I was talking about. It's labeled on the inside. It says Marty McFly. Yeah. So, that was fun. Ba -da 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 -da. I went and grabbed that pretty quick because I'm, I'm close to having all the e back to the E.T.'s on the back pops. as well. Oh, E.T. Universal. Like back in the Martian. We're still a little bit sad about Universal Studios not having Back to the Future. Yeah, but uh, Doc Brown walks around. Uh, you can meet Doc Brown at Universal Studios, but yeah, it'd be nice if they brought back a ride. Lady Dorkery, Frank Castle. Who is that? Testing your comic book knowledge. I don't know. Dang it. John Berthal. Who does he play? Still don't know. Dang it. Shane from The Walking Dead? Yes, and I saw a thing today that said that Marvel Studios might want him to come over... And, and play, play the Punisher. The Punisher! <laughs> nice job. So proud of myself. So Frank Castle, actually in the comic books, like is cursed now. He like he's living forever, and he is the cosmic ghost writer. Okay. Okay. So he has like cosmic powers now. He has the ability to go okay. across all spans of time. And one of the things he thought of, one of the th main people I should go back in time. I should go kill this guy, one of the biggest, baddest villains of all time. <laughs> How do you not get that? I'm just kidding. I know who you're talking about. Thanos. But I hate guessing. Yeah, so he wants to go back in time. He wants to kill baby Thanos, right? Or baby he's, Thanos? he's told to go back and do it. That's disgusting. Uh, so, yeah, but so this is the Cosmic Ghost Rider LA Comic Con pop. I don't know if you can see it. Maybe you can. We should probably take it out. Yeah, you can see it right there. So, look who, baby. Ooh. Yeah, That's Cosmic kinda... Ghost Rider. That's baby Thanos. That's a little bit gross. And that pop. That's a little bit disgusting. Yeah. What? Why is that gross? I don't know, because it's like... He's baby, not going to kill baby, baby Thanos. Baby Thanos is kind of like... He kind of feels bad going back yeah. in time. So that's a great series of comics, by the way. One through five. You should really read that. I am he's still... got him wrapped up in his fire chains. How is he not catching on fire? Because <laughs> he's Thanos. Mm, he's uh, baby Thanos. So he is uh, definitely one uh, that I would love first appearance of. This which is, is morbid. Thanos 13. Wow. Um, we don't... You know, this is not a big deal. We won't spend too much time on that. That is the New York City Comic Con Doctor Who Pop. I am a Doctor Who Pop collector. I have almost all of them, so that was a must. Actually, one of my prototypes. That's right. I have a prototype is uh, a Doctor Who prototype. Uh, so I would love to get that prototype. Who's yeah. your doctor? My favorite doctor? That's a great question. My favorite doctor is still Mr. Matt, the uh, 11th. Really? Doctor. I thought you were a 12th Doctor kind of guy. Uh, but I do love Peter Capaldi as well. So, All right, so Facebook Marketplace, Lady Dorkery. Yes. It's a great place to buy pops. It's a great place to kill time. <laughs> so, I went on Facebook Marketplace this week. And money. And, yeah. And uh, actually, our next video is probably going to be a Facebook Marketplace comic tree. Okay. But this is a 
pop tree. Okay. So sometimes you can find pops that... Uh, what did you trade? Oh, no, I traded cash for this. So we're not going to talk about the comic trade. That's another video, Lady Okay. Uh, so this is cash for Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Turtles in a half shell. Turtle power. No. <laughs> what did I do wrong? It's not turtles in a half shell. Heroes in a half shell! <laughs> you were halfway right. I'm sorry. I was only like eight. It's okay. So I bought four pops uh, for 30 bucks. So that's $7.50 a pop. There's Leonardo. Did you know that I've met him? Yep. Here's Raphael. Also met him. Yep. We met him at Comic Con. Here's Michelangelo. Met that guy. Yeah, Greg Sipes is the best. Um, sadly, I do not have Donatello yet. So incomplete. But I also have Robin from Teen Titans Go. So what do you think? I think this box has a crease in it. Oh, uh, they're not great. They're vaulted too. One way you can tell that they're vaulted. Mine. Give it back. One way you can tell that they're vaulted is when you look at the bottom and their faces are still there. That's an ultra pop. Oh really? They yeah. don't do that anymore? They don't do that anymore. Oh well that's fun. Uh, then we have a lot of vaulted ones. Yeah we, we do. We have a lot of boxes like that. Yeah we do. Well when right. you have 600 pops in your house you're going to have vaulted. Bye ladies. Bye. Okay. These are mine right? <laughs> <laughs> so we need Donatello. Wait a minute. That's more than three Lady Dorkery. I already have 20. <laughs> <laughs> so we need Donatello. Um, so I, you know so what? So you can send that to Drew Dorkery. Yeah. Via. I'm just kidding. I'm not gonna about to give them oh, our Donatello? address. I'm not about to give them. No, nah, we'll find him. He's a pretty easy get, like twenty bucks. So we'll find Donatello. So, people say so what we're gonna <laughs> what we're gonna show at the end of this video? I was on the front row for the Teen Titans Go panel. A couple of years ago at San Diego Comic Con, I have exclusive view, uh, exclusive footage. Were you the only one in the room? <laughs> <laughs> I was the only one that taped it of some lovely uh, singing from the cast of Teen Titans Go. It was painful. Which is actually Ezekiel in Walking Dead now, uh, so you can check that out. And then also the guy that plays Robin. Uh, Scott Manville was on uh, a recent episode that you watched of 911. Of 911? That's a yeah. fun show. So, not very dorky, but. No, not very dorky, but that was on there. But Greg Sipes, we've met him he's many my times. He's friend. Yeah, he's good people. He's my friend. So that's all in that. Are you ready for the grand finale before we go to that exclusive footage of. Uh, I think it's so funny that you're saying exclusive. Yeah, exclusive. Like you right were the only darkers. person in the room. Well, nobody else has it on YouTube. And we were on the front row. We were on the front row, and it's great footage. So if you like it, please stay to the end and watch that. Because all I this? feel is pain. Are you. And all waffles. I feel is pain. Waffles, so, waffles, Lady Dorkery, waffles. we just had a, a video this week of us going to the Millennium Falcon for the first time. Yeah. I have a Millennium Falcon tattoo that I've showed way too much. In every video. In every video. Are you ready for the grand finale? I'm scared. Oh, you should be when you see the size of this thing. That's what she said. So we're going to bring out... Uh... No, it's not, it's not. I haven't seen this. Close your eyes. 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 Look at the size of this thing. It's huge. That's what she... Open it up, Lady Dorgery. Yeah! Big box. I, you know what my first thought is? Where are you putting that box? <laughs> I'm not keeping it in the box. Where are you putting the box, though? I don't have any more room in my storage yeah. for boxes. Oh, guys. Guys. Look at the size of this. Ah! That thing is huge. <laughs> I'm tiny Elvis. Look at that. Lady Dorkery, is that? I'm a little bit offended. What? Where's Chewie? Oh, well, I guess there wasn't enough room in there for him. Also, I have lots of thoughts. Pew, Let me see it. Pew, Let pew. me see it. Let me see it. Pew, pew. Does he fall out? Is he in there forever? Yeah, it's a pop Definitely ride. feel like he already wrecked it a couple of times. So, isn't that beautiful? Does it make any noises? Uh, no. Does By the it, way, that was it, with tax up? and shipping. Well, not shipping because it's Amazon Prime. It was 70 bucks. That was not cheap. $70 so. for this? Yeah. 
I could have bought a pair of shoes for that. <laughs> so. True. Yeah. Isn't that beautiful? How many pops are we up to now? Oh, gosh. Over 600. <laughs> Guys, we need help. No, we don't. We love Funko Pops because it just brings everything together and it brings uh, comics, it brings movies, it brings TV, it brings cartoons, it brings I love you. everything. So. Uh, he said he knows. Yes, he does know. I was going to say that. He said, give me a chance. That's a great haul right there, Lady Dorkery. A Funko Pop haul by the Dorkeries. And we're going to cap it off right now with some beautiful singing from the cast of Teen Titans Go, who also, by the way, the guy that is Beast Boy in Teen Titans Go is also the voice of Michelangelo. What are you doing to my pop? I don't know. <laughs> I, I do know that Han shot first. Oh yes, Han did shot first. All right, thanks for watching this. As we said, watch this next video, Look. or this next, Part of this video watch pew, pew, this pew, pew, ending pew. it's worth it stick around pew, pew, see pew, it pew. you won't see it on any other channel pew, pew. <laughs> if you haven't seen it you can sing along the only lyric you need to know is waffles, waffles exactly <laughs> waffles 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 And that's a hit. <laughs> that's how you do a hit. Yeah. Do you have another song for us, dude? Yeah, yeah, let's see. Uh, you I guys remember that song? Oh. How many of you saw the 100th episode that just aired? Did you see the one? <laughs> yeah. Robin got to get his punk rock on. Mm. Car, you want to give me a beat? Step by step is the only conclusion Day by day we are left in confusion Bring on the night Bring on the night That's it I, This is going to take a lot out of me emotionally Do you want me to intro your song, bro? Yeah, yeah, let me just hold on I am not going to say it yet. See, um, it's, it's a very heartfelt yeah, yeah, song. Yeah, yeah. There you go. go. <laughs> Alright. Okay, yeah. so they, they take this into a place so I can't, I can't really move that. Alright, you guys can hear me, right? Yeah! Alright, here we go. <laughs> I was in a dark place when the song was written. All my Teen Titans friends, they turned my back. Cause all I wanted was my little pain bot to come hang out with me. But they wouldn't let him come hang out with me just cause he used to terrorize them a little bit. And this is what that song is about. Pain, all I know is pain. Oh, pain, all I know is pain. <laughs> You're not being here, trust me and say All the joy of knowing gone down the drain. And then my pain bot would say, pain. <laughs> all I know is pain. Get your hands up, yo. Mm, pain. <laughs> All I know is pain. We all know it, man. <laughs> Tears keep falling harder than the rain. I tr tried to hold on, but that was all in vain. No. And I don't want to live without you. Because there is no doubt that all I know is pain. Yeah, everybody say pain. pain. All I know is pain. All I know is pain. Yes, you can sing it, pain. Pain. All I know is pain. All I know is pain.
always pay. Lemon juice in a paper cut oh. Oh. You know that pain that I'm talking about. Like when you gotta sit on the back of your neck and you gotta get pop that thing. Yeah, pain. All you gotta do is what the anticipation is tearing you up inside. Ooh, yeah, the anticipation. Oh, when you really constipated. You know when you got been backed up for just a few days. <laughs> but you gotta go in that bathroom and take care of business. You gotta take care of business. And I don't wanna live without you. Because there is no doubt that I, I know <laughs> is pain. <laughs> What a beautiful I should have known when we used to play Barbies together that what? you would have this many toys. Oh, yeah, that's true. I've had toys all my life. Pew, 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 pew. Go, Go dork, dork yourself. yourself. Pew, pew, look at that thing. That's big. That's what she said.